Hey, what's up guys? Evil here for volume three of my AX24 video series. Uh, for this volume, we're going to be installing overdrive in the AX24. Um, this is a Trio gear set. It's a 23% overdrive. This is the mod that I've really been waiting for because I really think it's going to bring out the performance in this machine. For those of you who just got their X24 or maybe they are new to crawling in general because this seems like a uh, decent place as any to jump off to get into uh, RC rock crawling. The overdrive will basically increase the drive ratio on the front axle so the front wheels will be spinning faster than the back. Um, what that does is uh, basically moves that torque bias or at least the the more drive to the front so less likely for it to flip over backwards in a steep climbing situation um, <clears throat> it also sort of skids the back wheels and it kind of makes the the vehicle kind of hunker down um, and can potentially lower your cg which can increase side hill performance as well as things like that it just makes it stick to the rocks better uh, when you're in a weird situation so um, it also helps with turning radius too because it sort of skids the or breaks the back a little bit and uh, will tighten the turning radius of the truck. So in a comp situation when you're trying to make a gate or something, it's a huge help. Um, here I am uh, removing the front drive shaft, uh, pulling the pin out of there because uh, that all has to be disconnected to pull that, that worm drive out. And that's something I never really mentioned about this vehicle um, is it is worm drive. I'm not a huge fan of worm drive, but it does do things like uh, basically it auto brakes. I don't they don't have to have braking on the ESC with the with the worm drives. The the bad part is is they're not great for sort of long term driving. Um, things tend to get hot. It causes a lot more wear. Um, things like that, but uh, I don't know. Neither here nor there. That's just the, what they chose to go with. So here's the trio gear set. Um, it's a much smaller diameter uh, gear, so the front's going to spin a lot faster. My biggest concern with this is that the motor would not have the grunt uh, to for it to climb up steep things with that higher gear ratio in the front. Uh, but you'll see in the driving portion of this video that isn't the case. The stock motor uh, works just fine. So here uh, we've put the gear in, uh, I'm putting the stub axles back in, you have to twist those to get those uh, stub axles back in that locker slash worm drive gear. Spin those till they lock in place. Um, and I think here in a second it shows I used some black molly grease. The grease they had on the stock gears isn't fantastic. Um, so might be a good opportunity to even replace the rear one if you keep it at the same uh, at the same gear ratio because the the steel is going to be a lot tougher than those brass gears they have in there. So anyway, cake that with some black grease, putting the uh, diff cover slash servo mount back on here, and then reinstalling the brass knuckles. I will say installing these knuckles you cannot bear down uh, on those bolts you have to keep them sort of loose or it binds up the steering so the 110 scale has a steel top hat that goes in there that allows things to turn freely even with the bolts fully tightened but at this scale probably not uh, the greatest thing so kind of snug those uh, kingpins down on the knuckles and then back them off a quarter turn or so so that the, the steering can move freely all right, putting the knuckle weights back on here. The knuckles, the brass knuckles and the knuckle weights are a huge, huge improvement. Um, this rig is very top heavy and getting that weight bias down and forward uh, really helps performance. And just putting the wheels back on here. <coughs> As I mentioned before, uh, using an overdrive setup like this, this isn't wanting some. This isn't something that you want to go out driving uh, for hours at a time because you will. The difference between the drive will uh, front rear front and rear will put stress on the motor and ESC. So you will heat it up um, if you drive for long periods of time. So here we're just going to demonstrate the difference in the gear ratios. You can see the front uh, is moving about a quarter faster than the rear. All right, now we're just gonna test, make sure the thing's still got torque to climb up on stuff with that higher front drive. And it looks like it did just fine. It's climbing past straight up. Could not make this climb before doing the overdrive. It roll over backwards every time. 
Uh, you can see it cruised right up. There we go. I'm going to get some footage uh, out running on the rocks with the overdrive, but it's obvious that it makes a huge difference uh, with the composure of this thing going up steep stuff. So anyway, I think this is a worthwhile mod. $19, I think, for the gear set. Um, like I say, not good for uh, hours and hours of driving, but if you only drive a few minutes at a time just trying to clear a line or whatever, it's really going to improve performance of this rig. So uh, very worthwhile upgrade in my opinion. So anyway... Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I guess that's it for now. I'll catch you on the next one.